Hello. It is dark in my house because the sunshine has officially gone. That's it. Done. So what I'm doing today, because I don't really have space to do the proper filming. Oh, it's horrible outside. Because I don't have space to do the proper filming is <clears throat> my afternoon tea today is on the go. I have three weeks to go before I leave for America. I've just done a huge weekend with the Foodies Festival, so big shout out to Foodies Festival and to the wonderful Restoration Cake, Miss Charlotte White, and the Baking Nana, Rob C. Allen, I got to meet Helen from Leetwood Roots. She just, oh, it was just a uh, big shout out to John from Briscoe's for the jelly. Anyway, that's enough of the plugging. Um, so basically what I have to do today is I have to pack. Uh, Sam's already started, as you can see from the giant load of boxes. I, on the other hand, have to pack up from yesterday all of the recycling. I'm so sorry, Sammy, I'm showing the world all the mess that's in here. It is my mess. It's totally my fault. So yeah, I'm going to put the kettle on, get things ready. <laughs> oh my god, the kitchen's such a state. Uh, and then get started. So yeah, I'm going to show you a couple of clips of the weekend, the Foodies Festival weekend. Oh, I probably look like such a mess. I've just got up. Um, whatever. Uh, of the Foodies Festival weekend, so you can see a little bit of that intermittently spursed, intermittently spursed, sporadically spursed, no, sporadically dispersed, <sighs> sporadically dispersed with me packing and tidying. So we're in for a treat this one. Welcome to Colin's Time for Tea, episode four. I'm so excited to be here at Foodies Festival. You look like you're going to be coming. Yeah, I'm going to do a little video. Yeah. Nice and live. Yeah. So I'm here at the Foodies Festival with Helen. Hi. Helen, tell us a little bit about you and what you're doing. So I'm here with Colin in the Bake Theatre. And I am from Leeward Roots. And baking, well actually not baking today, I left that to Colin. But okay. um, <laughs> Leeward Roots baking, making yes. Again, Briscoe's Jam. He's just in the next one, but past the plant. He's called John. He's very it's nice. John. He's lovely. He came out to visit last time. He came over when he I was doing that. He came, he came running over. It was really sweet. Today's tea is a beautiful black tea from China. I'm not entirely sure what kind it is. My cousin works for a tea company, and when um, they, when uh, it was a, their wedding, they were giving out the uh, what were they called? Favors. The favors were lots of different kinds of tea. Lots of people didn't take them home, so I did a mind sweep and took them because I love different kinds of tea. So, gonna have a black tea, a wee sugar just to keep me going, and then, yeah, I really should start and stop filming. So, see you in a bit. That's my wee diver buddy. I call him Steve because I've got a friend called Steve who's a diver. So that's it. No, we don't go in there. End off the bag. I'm going to squeeze lines of icing. Ooh, it's really hot. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> this is a choice. In every cake that must be made, there is a secret that I'll trade. You guess the secret, and snap! You've cracked the code! And every bake you undertake becomes a well piece of cake. A sponge, cupcake, a simple recipe. Butter, flour, eggs and sugar, it's the recipe for cake. The recipe for cake, recipe for cake. Butter, flour, eggs and sugar, it's the recipe for cake. In the most traditional way. So, that is a very traditional way to make cakes, but for those of you who. No, I know. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of a break to do some shameless plugging for some of the wonderful vendors that I met at the Foodies Festival. So we have Vida Soul. So they do a lot of amazing um, OT biscuits using no refined sugar. Uh, they're also vegan and organic and come in recyclable tin pots. How cool is that? I got the rose and cardamom oat delights because they're Oh, that flavour combination was good. But thank you very much to uh, Manny and her husband. I really loved meeting you. You were so, uh, you were just adorable and you gave me that strength to say, I am a chef. 
Yeah! Good one. Thank you very much. Okay, so next we have Taste Rumba. Now this is a Peruvian marinade which can go in hummus. You don't even need to use tahini. You just pop a spoonful of this in with your chickpeas, a little bit of lemon, a wee bit of coriander, 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 coriander if you like it, and it tastes so good. But yeah, again, thank you very much for those guys being so friendly and chatting to me. Uh, it, I've posted a little link again to their uh, stuff that they do. Um, oh, oh, one of my favorite things from the whole weekend. I, I had to buy it, I couldn't not buy it. These guys were really cool. So they've made a new gin with a little bush baby on it. How cute is this, Tarzier? Yeah, they have loads of amazing flavors of calamansi, galango, the sweet basil, and campot pepper. pepper. It's a spicy, but sweet. You could essentially sip this gin. You don't need to really put any tonic in there, but they've told me if you do, use just plain tonic. That's it. You don't need any flavors for it. This has the flavor. So this is the gin to go for if you're a gin drinker. It is so good. And my new bestie, John from Briscoe's Jelly. So what did I buy? I bought the Furious Chili Jelly. Now this is amazing. If you like chili, it is so good. He's got another one. So he's got Furious, so he's got Curious, Furious, Insane, no, Extreme and Insane. So Insane isn't for sale yet, but oh, that was hot. He was doing some taste samples. It was good. So anyway, I've got some Furious Chili Jelly and I just, I'm going to, I'm going to pile it on with some cheese. I don't even care. It is so good. His taste pairings are fantastic. He did, I bought it, mint jelly and I bought some, but he put it on pineapple. Oh, mint jelly on pineapple. So grill some on the barbecue when it's sunny again and then pop some of that mint jelly on and it is just, the flavors were fantastic. If you get a chance to ever meet this guy, he is so passionate about those jellies. I like, hands down, one of my favorite, like just stall vendor demos. It was good. This guy loves his stuff. He loves what he does. So heavily recommend it. Again, links below to all the websites. He does ship worldwide. Well, he does now because I've told you he does. Ah! Cool, I think that's me for my um, shameless plugging. And also for the Foodies Festival, if you guys ever get a chance to go, go and see it. I think they're doing one in December time. And go to the Cake and Dessert Theatre. I won't be there because I'll be in Chicago. But go and say hello to Charlotte White from Restoration Cake. Anyway, thank you very much. I will continue packing and stop watching. <laughs> I say I'm packing, I haven't really done anything. I've been cleaning. And then I'll pack. Gonna have a tidy house before you make it a mess. Cake and putting on a show. It may not end up as we want, but that's okay, you'll have to let it go. And now I'm here, I'm singing this. Jackie's making the cake especially for you. It's supposed to look like Elsa's dress. But I'll just add Oreos, Oreos, they're the best biscuits in my eyes. So I've got my pile of clothes that I'm getting rid of. I've got my pile of clothes that I'm taking with me, I think. Uh, a lot of it is based on weight. Uh, a lot of the clothes I don't fit into anymore. But I'm trying to lose a bit more weight, so I can fit into some of them, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I was supposed to go to the gym today, but I woke up with so much to do, I thought I just need to get started. So of course I faffed around. Anyway, that's my afternoon tea for today. I've packed-ish, kind of. Well, I started out my clothes. So thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Hopefully by then I'll have a bit more information. Oh, it's my last week at work, so I'll talk about that next week. Grand. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for joining me for Colin's Time for Tea. There was some tea, no cakes, I had too much at the weekend. But I'll see you next week. Bye. Mary Poppins taught us how to find the fun. And she did. I found the fun making vegan things because it's super califragilistic, extra vegan friendly. Use different ingredients, you'll get a similar ending. Post it on your Instagram, it's sure to get you trending. Super califragilistic, extra vegan friendly. Everyone! I'm the little lamb the lie, I'm the little lamb the lie, I'm the little lamb the lie, I'm the little lamb the lie. I'm the little lamb the lie. Because I work with lots of people and I like to be. I took it upon myself to satisfy their needs And then I took a recipe and changed the bits around I took out both dairy and eggs and this is what I found It's sweet 
the califragilistic Judge for vegan friendly Two different ingredients have just a similar ending Post it on your Instagram, it's sure to get you trendy Supercalifragilistic, extra vegan friendly, everyone!